Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It feels so weird to say this. I haven't filmed in this room for about two weeks. I've missed you guys so flipping much. It's been a journey. Obviously it was my birthday. I posted my birthday vlog up. Thank you so much for the love. Hope you all had a really Merry Christmas. Um, because my trip was so spontaneous, I didn't have any content planned around it. I really wanted to do like a birthday makeup video, but like I didn't think I was going up for my birthday. But thank you so much. I had such a good time. Hope everyone is okay. I'm wishing you well. Obviously this video, you can tell by the title, this is my most favorite, best of the best of 2020. You guys can probably guess what I'm going to do like and what are some of my favorites are just because you guys know what kind of stuff I like. So again, this is going to be the favorites and best of the best of 2020. So if you want to see what made my 2020 hot list, keep on watching. You feel so good to do that. <laughs> <laughs> so hey, how y'all doing? What's going on? As you can see, if you can see my little Forever Mood candle, I'm actually gonna do um, something on that. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do, but I feel like everyone's kind of reviewed it. But if you guys wanna know my, I haven't burnt all of them, so just wait for me to burn all of them. I've already burnt three. But yeah, period. So this is gonna be the best of 2020. Um, I've got no makeup on, no skincare, nothing. So I'm gonna start with moisturizer. You guys know my latest skin food. This one's almost finished. Was my pride and joy. I just can't believe it's the end of the year, guys. It's crazy. Also, by the time you're watching this, I should hopefully be in Dubai. So, <laughs> so I'm actually going back to Dubai. Like I know it's a bit crazy, but I kind of have a bit of work out there and. I'm going back for New Year, so by the time you watch this, I should be in Dubai, so expect another Dubai vlog. Um, I was gonna actually extend because um, if you watch my vlog, all my friends extended, and I was gonna do that because I had seen my family for so long, I had to go back just because it was just out of respect for them. Plus, I really wanted to see them, and like, I just flew back for a while, so yeah, I'm gonna fly back there, so by the time, so by the time you watch this, Hey, Pooh from Dubai. <laughs> for eye cream, I wouldn't say I had like a top one of 2020, but I went in between the Glossier Bubble Wrap, which were finished, and I actually used the Dermalogica um, Biolin C Eye Serum. It's actually really nice. Um, it's obviously really expensive. I think this is like 70 pounds. Um, I really like it. I'm not sure if I believe in eye creams really work, just because I feel like the eye area is just, I just feel like there's only so much a cream can do to the under eye, but I just feel like you just need really good sleep, and you know, that eight hours or whatever, but I never get eight hours. Like, it's just crazy to me. Do you guys get eight hours? Let me know in the comments down below because I definitely get about five or six, which is so, so bad for you. Like, it's just too much. I'm motherfucking ghetto, so what? Again, I cannot believe it's almost 2021. Like, please let me guys know what you have, like, like what are your goals or your resolutions please let me know i feel like i always make resolutions but they never plan out so i'm gonna use a goodie blur od this is the evan decay <laughs> face primer all night i actually had this primer for so long but but when i went on my holiday i used it on holiday and ever since i took out my makeup bag my travel one and i just kept using it it's almost oh it's almost done oh child i might oh, i might have to just get another one because it's actually such a good primer i feel like i use that and the Laura mercy actually the Laura mercy one would have been a good one but child i'll go between this and all my so this one gets a bit tacky um if you are on the dry side i'll probably have to mix in with something else because it does get a bit matte so i have to go what, where's my corrector so corrector wise i would say i use dragon beauty i use the revolution one but um, i've been loving this kkw one it's so so good obviously color correctors are just a diamond with dust and you don't have to use every single one i just love this one by kkw i feel like i just love the color of it i also love the dragon beauty one i just feel like for me color correctors just are such a big part just because as you can see I've been in the sun. Some of my dark marks have gone darker, which is so annoying, but I wasn't wearing SPF, but it was one day where I actually forgot to put on SPF just because I think it was my birthday and um, I was in a rush, but guys, always point SPF. If obviously I was going out today, I'd wear SPF, but I'm actually just staying inside doors. Again, it feels so weird to record because I've been so consistent on it with YouTube. Like, I just feel like, oh my God, when I wasn't recording, I was like, I miss everyone. I miss Sip and Slay. Sip and Slay is on a hold, even though I know there's some juicy tea, but because I'm aware, I can't really do Sip and Slay, but um, don't worry, I'm gonna catch up on all the topics, especially the Iggy Azalea and Playboy Cardi T. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> But um, yeah, I miss Sip and Slay. It's, it's, it's coming back bright and new year. Once I'm back, I'm working on a new setup, a new layout, and don't worry, it's gonna be consistent and we get everyone through lockdown. London's still in lockdown, I'm not sure, but it's gonna be reviewed, but you know, you know, actually it's gonna get reviews on the 30th of December, so that's in like a few days. So foundation was a hard one. I feel like so many foundations came out this year and I was like, ooh, what about that? What about that? What about, there's so much that I've like been on my roster, but 
Even on my birthday, I only took two foundations and they were so versatile, but also a family together. Child, can you guess what it is? Poo, can you guess what it is? It is the NARS and the Chanel foundation. This NARS foundation, I had a pleasure working with NARS on an Instagram post and this foundation for me, it's, it's, it's the coverage for me. Packaging for me and the Chanel one, by itself, it's so gorgeous. I'm in the shade BR152. The shake it, not, not the cat coming up. I'm in NARS, I'm in New Caledonia Deep 2, just to let you guys know. Um, I'm gonna mix these two because I kept doing it on my birthday because to be honest, the NARS one is very matte. So if you like looking very matte, then I'd go for it, but it is super flawless. And I kind of wear that if like I'm on holiday or like I know that I'm gonna be in a hot destination or if I'm just out and about or my makeup to last, but the Chanel one's nice, natural, but beautiful and glowy. So these two mix like a dream together. So. I've actually put too much on my hands. That's one thing I've decided to do. Cut down and using too much foundation because my skin isn't that bad. It's not perfect, but it's not bad. But I need to calm down using so much products. So I've got like that, that, that. I don't really like putting foundation on my forehead just because I kind of go in with bronzers anyway. And I feel like foundation on the forehead looks a bit mad. Do you guys agree? So I'm just gonna put some there. And it's kind of like, this ma <laughs> this Matchbox foundation brush is obviously like one of my 2020 favorites. You guys know. This is probably one of the best foundation brushes on the market. I've got two backups. Um, obviously, when I did a thing with Look Fantastic, you guys have a code. I actually really liked working with Look Fantastic and thank you so much for you guys using the code. I got so much great feedback and obviously you guys obviously saved so much money. You know, honey. I actually feel like I haven't done a full beat for so long. Also, who has watched The Crown? Obviously, I haven't watched all of it, but I know people are obsessed with it. I've been watching season four, which is based on Princess Diana. Obviously, I finished it basically like a day and a half. I was in so much tears because I knew Princess Diana was iconic. Um, she was an icon. She was a, she was so fashionable. She was beautiful. She done so much amazing things. She broke barriers and she was just different to your ordinary royal. But just to see her story and the way she was treated and how lovely she was and how unloved she was and she just wanted like just to be loved. It honestly brought me to tears but honestly like even watching that like I wish they showed me that in school because I would have been more intrigued to learn about the Royals. But if you guys haven't watched it definitely watch it on Netflix. It's the Royals season 4. I haven't watched the other ones but everyone's telling me to watch the other ones but definitely check it out. See this foundation match is just top tier, like I look so tired though. So mind the bags, they're Chanel, they're Prada, so just mind the bags, okay? Ooh, I keep hiccuping. Okay, for a concealer, yeah. I think there was a few this year that I kind of fell in love with, so the Urban Decay Stay Naked. Top tier, use that in 70 NY. Makeup Forever, Matte Velvet Skin. You can get this from Makeup Growing Program if you're based in London because they're not in the UK anymore, but this concealer, bad bitch, top tier. But I think for me, if I think about 2020, what concealer I use the most, it would have to be the Too Faced Born This Way. This definitely didn't come out in 2020. I think it came out in 2019, but I think they added new shades this year. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments down below. And that's all par, par. But I love Chestnut and I feel like there's been a lot of videos and stuff about this, especially like leaving it on. I think that's a trick I'm gonna do today. I'm using a shade, oh, something to my eye. Oh my God. God, why is this happening to me? So I'm actually gonna use the concealer and so I'm gonna use a tiny bit, and but I'm just gonna put a bit there and also a bit there, just so we can lift it. Cause watching Arnell, oh, Alicia Ashley's sister, and she did this trick with the concealer. I'm just gonna try it in this video. Even though I'm using the same concealer, I just wanna try this trick just to see what it really, really does. I'm gonna leave this concealer for a few moments just so we get the maximum most coverage. Now that's the time to say, I'm literally gonna blend out. I don't even have a mirror. Does she not want a mirror? Let me see. Yeah, such a cute mirror. I'm just gonna blend that out. And once we do, the concealer just gives us a bit more coverage. Obviously, this is probably like one of the top, I really want to do one of those makeup videos, like, you know, the trends of 2020, but like, I feel like even to think of the trends is just a bit long, but I was watching Manny and Reway's one last night it was so, Flipping funny. Also, speaking of trends, guys, what content would you want to see in 2021? Like, I know, like, I love doing makeup tutorials, but I feel like makeup tutorials just don't get the views anymore. Like, it might be just me, but like, are people, I know people, you guys love watching makeup tutorials and new products. I feel like you guys love watching new product reviews, but I just feel like makeup tutorials just don't bang like they used to. I feel like people love seeing like challenges and like different kind of videos and the madness, but. I'm just not sure what really to bring to YouTube. Like, I don't know, like it's just crazy. I've been on the platform for so long and obviously I really want to grow and I'm finding it 
so hard but it'll be interesting to know what like what kind of different videos you like or who else you like and they do different videos you know what i mean it'd be interesting to really know that so if you like have any ideas or any like recommendations please let me know because it'll be super super interesting to find out Obviously, I love like a bright under eye, so I'm actually gonna go in with the Makeup Forever. I probably wouldn't use this concealer to like leave under my eye because it dries super fast and you don't need too much either. I kind of got this recommendation from Makeup Shayla. I'm only gonna just do a tiny bit because this is so full coverage. I wish I could have like a tiny bit more shade though because I feel like this is kind of a bit light for me now because obviously I've been in the bar and I've gone a bit tanned, but you know it is what it is and then obviously a 2020 favorite wouldn't be without my smashbox brush this is the blurring concealer brush i've used this in so many videos i feel like it's really good to use a blender as well but if you just want that extra bit of coverage just patting that on so i'm literally just focusing this in the right corner of the eye it's really just gonna help brighten it and just you know just give you a bit extra snatchy because i feel like with one concealer it, it you know it does the job but i feel like two concealers you know a bit to conceal and a bit to brighten it just gives you that extra you know one two step <laughs> remember sierra one two step that was such a flipping tune period Oh my double contour stick. Let me see how much I've got this left. I've got a bit left. That's a bit, but I think that's quite good. Like I feel like this has lasted me so long. I'm actually gonna try once to go off the back of my hand. I'm just gonna do there, 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 there. Let me guys down obviously in the comments as well if you have any of these because this is my staple. Especially if you haven't got lip liner, this is such a good trick. I'm just gonna do the nose as well. We've gotta do the brows, but I'm just gonna use my Benefit and um, precisely my brow um, off camera because I feel like doing brows is just a bit boring and plus everyone does their brows so differently anyway. Do you know what I mean? Like I feel like everyone has their own kind of like, you know, flavor. I'm just gonna use my foundation. I just love, contouring definitely has to be my favorite part of makeup just because you can really see where your makeup is going. If, I feel like if you contour, if you're, not, if you're not really contouring or like bronzing, like contouring with bronzer, I feel like your face is gonna look flat. Like I remember, like when I look at old makeup videos or old pictures of myself, and I'm not really contouring or you know just doing a bit of like shape and dimension. I just feel like, where was I going? Like, what, what was I doing? Like, what was my, <laughs> what was my destiny? Like. <laughs> Okay, so before I begin eyes, I'm gonna set my face using the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin in white 405. I actually need to purchase a few more colors of these because one's cracked so during flight, another one fell. These, this powder is top tier. It's probably one of the best powders I've used in my life. I'm not even joking, even just to set the face. And it's annoying because I wish I could go into a store and just really see what my color is. So I've just been guessing. Again, this was from Makeup Shayla. This under the eye is top flipping tier. I feel like it just does so much things. I would want to take this away with me, but I'm just scared. I can't afford for another one to crack. So I'm just going to take the cracked one and hope for the best. You know, I don't need another one damaged, but this powder, guys, if you can get this powder, get it. I think the makeup probably having a sale, but top blood clot tier. Okay, to set the whole face, I'm gonna go with my Shiseido and um, Secret Skin Powder in 510 Suede. Again, I feel like setting all over powders are kind of like, I have so many, but this one, especially for traveling, cause it's so thin like a credit card, it's just obviously top tier. But again, with all of our face powders, I feel like I use so many, but this is the one I reach for the most. But I feel like, again, I feel like all of our face powders are quite hard, but also of the um, Sephora Micro something powder, that's really good, but I cannot find it for the love of me. Okay, so for under eye powder, can you guys guess what I'm gonna use? Huda Beauty Kunafa, and that is on period. You guys know, I, I think I've actually used this powder every single day of the year. Obviously, I've used the Beauty Bakery one, the Pat McGrath, Laura Mercier one, that was top tier also. I'm trying to think what else was. There was a few powders that came out this year that were top tier, but for me, it's the Huda Beauty. I'm not gonna bake, but I'm just literally just gonna put some under my eye. I feel like, because I'm getting a bit older, I feel like sometimes when I bake, it can leave a bit of texture. Sometimes I'll bake if I'm in the mood, but I'm not just pressing it in because I feel like it just looks better anyway, but I just hate when my under eyes look dry because I feel like it just ages you. Do you know what I mean? But um, I feel like baking for like maybe like 10 seconds is cute, but I probably just kind of bake on the sides of the nose, but I won't do it directly under the eye anymore because in pictures, child, we'll be looking like a flashback. Ooh. 
if you guys don't know what I'm about to bronze with, then you need to uns <laughs> I'm joking, but if you guys don't know what bronzer is going to be my 2020 favourite, then you obviously don't know me, sis. Obviously, it has to be Morphe Supreme. These bronzers just remind me of lockdown. Actually, I actually watched someone's video. Like, I'm going to try a bronze differently. Like, these bronzers just literally remind me of lockdown just because I used them so much. I feel like this year was definitely the year for bronzers. Obviously, I was going to use my, my Marina Boutte, but you guys know I use Morphe Supreme so much. I use all of them, Prodigy and Lida. But I love this one. I just love a red bronzer. Obviously, red bronzer isn't for everyone. This one's a really warm tone bronzer, but you don't have to use too much. I actually watched a TikTok video where it was Arnell's video, and she was like, um, the guy was like, bronze are the highest points of your face. And I always hit my, I always go quite hammer my bronze. I'm not gonna lie because I love to look overly bronzed. But um, I'm just gonna do it in the high points where the sun's gonna hit the face. But again, these bronzers are top tier. I've had it, I've had these now for eight. Guys, I haven't even hit pan on it, which is crazy. But um, top tier, oh, it's just 2020 top tier, and that is on par. You guys know I love eyeshadow, but um, I wouldn't call myself an eyeshadow connoisseur. I wouldn't say I'm the ch most champion and the best at eyes. Like, I kind of just do what kind of suits me. Obviously, I love doing bright colors and I love doing different things because I like taking myself out the box with the same other oh, shadow palette. It's the national. <laughs> <laughs> it's Natasha Denona bronze palette. This palette is me. If I was gonna be an eyeshadow palette, if I was gonna be turned into an eyeshadow palette in the next life, it would be this. This palette is breathtakingly stunning. Like, please, please. <laughs> like, I just cannot cope. It's the most beautiful palette for a deeper skin tone that just does the whole biz naive. Do you know what I mean? Like it does everything. It's amazing for a soft glam. It's got pops of color in there, bronzes. I feel like you can just do anything. I'm trying to even think what to do. <laughs> I might take magma and literally just stamp that in the crease. I've already got concealer when I use the NARS Soft Matte, which is top tier also, but yeah, I'm just gonna stamp a magma because this color is so nice. This palette has no fall down and it's just, again, top tier. Like it's so nice for a soft glam and just, you can use one color in the lid and it looks so, so good. A lot of you guys have this palette, but if you don't, it's probably on sale in a lot of places, but definitely try and cop if you can. Okay, I'm just gonna go back in with magma. I use suntan to kind of blend it out. I'm just gonna make magma a bit more prominent. I'm using it as Zoeva, what's this called? A petite crease brush. So I'm just gonna stamp that in the crease just to make it a bit more visible, if you like what I say. But again, even just this, it just looks so sexy. Like, especially in a deeper skin tone, these colors are just, they can live in my head red frick. Live in my head red frick. <laughs> as you can see, I've got this beautiful soft glam. Oh, I told you this palette is so nice. I'm literally gonna take that same shade Magma and literally just pull it under the eye. This shade by itself is kind of like, it's probably one of the most unique shades I've ever like even used. It's kind of like a red terracotta, mauve kind of red. It's so unique. And I feel like the thing what I like about this palette is, like no other brand has really released a palette with such a various shades of bronze. Like even the names like Magma is like a type of metal, which I'm sure, is it? Hold on. Maybe it's Palladini, but all of them are, the names are kind of um, names of like bronzes and like metals and stuff. So it kind of makes sense. Okay, it's liner time. Obviously brown liner with this look. I feel like this is like my, my signature soft glam. And this is the Melt Spliff liner. I'm not sure what's going on with mouth or beauty based stockist, but this has been out of stock since I've ever used it. And obviously this is used and abused. So if you can get it, try and get it. But I wish Melt was like, I wish they had more stockists, but maybe you can get it straight from their website. But if not, you'll probably have just have to wait until it's back in. But this liner is just honestly top tier. I'm gonna try and do this on camera, but Child. Look at the wrist. Maybe not. I'm gonna try and do it off camera, guys, because I'm a bit shaky because I've had a coffee. So, see you tomorrow. Okay, so obviously, okay, I finished the eyes. I really, really like them. I 
feel like I might need to clip the liners as high, but, but it looks super, super sexy. This is probably one of my biggest accomplishments to date, and obviously they came out in 2020. You guys are gonna know what I'm gonna say, and these are my lashes. I would probably do lashes after, but I'm gonna do them now, and these are my bad and bougie. I've also got snatched as well, but I've actually run out of snatched, and I just hope one day they'll be available, available in America. But I know so many of you want them and oh guys, they're just my baby so much. For me to walk into a supermarket and to see my lashes there, the feeling is just so crazy. But um, guys, period. So I'm gonna put these on very, very quickly. I'm just gonna pop these babies on using a tweezer and then looking down. I've already got glue on my liner. That was probably one of my cutest hacks. Okay, so I did a bit of white eyeliner because white eyeliner is just, it's just top tier over anything. So this is the last one. <laughs> Look at what just left. This is called Rue Bon Part. Yeah, Rue Bon Part. Yeah, this is nice as white. It's not even white, it's more of like a beige. I just feel like it really just opens up the eyes. Sorry, I literally tried to find an eyeliner and I fell. And <laughs> my, my carpet's kind of dirty, but it's fine, we move. I'm trying to think what to do next. And let me sit on my face. So again, setting sprays is like a big thing that I've kind of incorporate into my makeup routine over the years and obviously the Morphe one, like Bish, this one, this is a new one, this setting spray is just, I wouldn't call it like a setting spray, it's good for like the setting all the powders into your face and giving your face life again, so that's why I love that one so much. So, oh, let's do my hair off, oh it's looking kind of cute, oh it's looking kind of fresh, so I'm gonna use my favourite blush palette, oh, I, really feel, I really feel like I should have been drinking wine but obviously I've got so much of a video up <laughs> Blush palette, Marina Boutte. I remember wanting this brand for so long, and when they actually sent me this, I was just like, I'm so upset though, because my finger like dug into this one. So we have Sweet Brown, Chocolate, and oh, what's this one called? Sweet Brown, Chocolate, and I'm not sure what this one's called, but this one's called Sweet Brown, which is their iconic one. I'm gonna take this big beauty blender one, I'm gonna just brush it on there, and then I'm just gonna put the brusher. Brusher? The blush are quite high. Here, some on the nose. This brush is so big. It's kind of got like a. Oh, <laughs> this brush is huge. It's got like a calling bit there. And it's just gonna tap that. Tap, tap, tap in. See, it's just giving my face a little. Je ne sais quoi. Okay, it's time for highlight. And it makes me sad because highlight isn't as big as it used to be but uh, highlights always gonna be in my heart even though i don't use as much as i used to i just love highlight and i feel like i could probably just go out of my face like this because a lot of people love like the soft glam look like the bare skin but i do think highlight can come back obviously highlight can come in different variations so i'm gonna use my nabla <laughs> lucid jungle so you guys know me look it's, it's actually broken like look at that how ghetto but i used to get a new one because this one is just very much me i'm just gonna put some on the cheeks here like it's such a beautiful highlight it's just again it's like nice without it's actually really smooth and i feel like highlighters at the moment are quite chunky but i think everyone's going to that like, you know glow from within look my lips are so flipping dry i'm gonna use morphe trendsetter definitely a staple of a liner for 2020 so another favorite is obviously the morphe true story liquid lipstick if you guys don't know sorry my, my camera wasn't recording this is like my favorite nude. It's like a pinky, brownie, caramelly pink. It's just, it's actually just so stunning. And I feel like they always have cells in these, so definitely cops this. I really wasn't gonna do a gloss, but why not? It's like, it's the end of 2020, so I'm gonna use Morphe Chill. It's a lot of Morphe in it. I just feel like their lip products are so good. So guys, this is the finished look. Sorry, my face tracking is on. Um, oh my God, look at my teeth. Oh my God, oh. Let's go. <laughs> Lip glass problems. I just want to say thank you to everyone that supported me this year. Tune into all my sip and slays. Tune into all my videos. Commented everything. I know I have to um, announce a giveaway winner. I still have to look through the comments. So that will be announced on the YouTube or well, my YouTube community page. I also want to say thank you to everyone. I know this year has been crazy, mad, satanic, confusing, awful, emotionally draining. But we all just have to think about the positives and that we're all healthy we have our loved ones with us and that just like we have each other so if anytime you guys ever want to speak you guys know my emails always open my dms are always open i love you guys so much thank you so much for supporting me um i can't believe this is my last video of 2020 and i wasn't even a whole yet and i'm just joking but thank you so much again um why is someone emailing me what i was trying to get out but um yeah thank you so much for supporting me
the team will not go. And um, I look forward to bringing new concepts, new videos, new styles, and just being together for 2021. And I shall see you next year, guys. Bye. Have a happy, safe new year. Period. Power.